Good enough. What's in the imminent domain? To me, it means that the ends justify the means. There's a guy in English class, his name was Stan, he was a teacher. He's like, if you don't learn anything, just remember the thesis of all English is always gonna be, did the ends justify the means? And then separately in mathematics, there was a guy in Milwaukee and he said, if you don't remember a single thing, it's that in math, they strive to find continuity. And then continuity means reading things that are hidden to see if they're shaped correctly, even in the dark. And in real life, you might not think that you were given one for any odd reason other than an occurrence that was odd to begin with. However, since you're here, you have a definite amount of time before it's all gone and you have a measurement, but that measurement within you adds up to a whole bunch of BS of a whole bunch of pathogens that are harmful through your entire life. If you were to take everything bad that you ate your entire life, that would kill you really quickly. That equivalence is equal to something like an atom bomb or a tsunami that was radioactive from a 200 megaton submarine robotic drone that doubled as an A-bomb. So with a wolf in sheep's clothing, I don't know if it's in the Bible. It sounds like some Renaissance medieval uh, story. A wolf in sheep's clothing is a perfect, uh, a perfect uh, simile for the the following, uh, the following of um, the perfect simile of the following: the coding of the coding of the coding of the coding of a simile of the following. Following simile of the coding. The coding of the following simile. In the fabric of um, existence is a duality of a, a wave and a particle. But then the wave and the particle are both found within a single component of an atom. So the atom that would combine a duality would be the trifecta. But the wolf in sheep's clothing, it would be the, uh, there's the duality, but the, what would a wolf do? Holy cow, we're about to get hit, man. Walk close, my stomach's full. Okay, so what would a wolf in the, the sheep clothing do? Uh, well, it put on the clothing of a sheep in order to do something. Uh, it's not just doing it because it's fancying itself a sheep, it's doing it in order to um, eat sheep. So that's the trifecta of the duality. And a complexion such as that would entail the following. Uh, it's a stretch to have the heroes proclaim themselves as the heroes only by making a problem and providing a solution that isn't even one. It just makes the next problem a setup. The solution that the heroes would provide is a setup for the next problem. They're only proclaimed as a hero because no one knows that they created the problem to begin with. Ergo, it was that much easier to create a solution and seem as a hero only because you didn't know they created a problem. So what this would be a thesis of 
calling irregularities an entanglement. And in calling an irregularity an entanglement is widely pronounced because we don't know all that much about entanglements. Ergo, the quantum nature, the, the heart of quantum nature is entanglement. We don't know too much that thereof. If I'm reaching out my hand, you have to like tell yourself to reach out your hand. Your hand can't reach out on its own. And reaching out for a handout can be seen as a bad thing. But if you're doing that in order to read something like with a telekinesis power, almost as like a feeler would do a bug having an antenna reaching it out to read. It's kind of bad and twisted, so you have to be like more pronounced and be able to look at something and read it other than reaching out your hand and waiting for a reaction because that's kind of grotesque. Grotesque as such would be um, the movie Human Centipede, where how much of us are it, just not all together at once with an entanglement uh, if we're all swapped together and sharing uh, these things that have genome codes, it's as though we've got all knocked up by the same bug, if you know what I'm talking about. You feel me? Um, getting knocked up by a bug so that we all have the same genes is ancestral, and that is grotesque at face value so to avoid getting that it's as though we're playing a role in the movie human centipede where i saw two spiders bond together with their legs and it looked like one spider you can only imagine if that were the genome code with anyone that you were close to it would be as though you were that close to them as those two spiders were looking like one. And I know you might not like this idea, you could call me a monkey's uncle, and I'll take that role because I haven't even started. I just brushed off a few ideas where I think would be pretty unique. It was came into full fruition. And using kinematics, well, let's hear it, buddy. The um, firearm it was utilized as like a garden tool you know how concentrations of uh, fruits and berries are concentrated that's just as though a gunpowder and explosion when it goes off but if you could house that and separate it uh, almost like a cloud it has every raindrop inside of it and at the end of it raining it can account for every which direction it dropped it from its cloud off from the initial that's a big thing in physics is the initial point because it is a constitute of the following a magnetic thing and another magnetic thing it's like the opposites attract and then in the opposites end the two alike charges will never touch. You can try infinitely many placements, but you'll never get the exact touching of the same location down to the very grain of its core. It can't do it. Using that mathematics, uh, a discharge of a firearm inside of like a water tank that's bulletproof, slows down a bullet, and enabling that or disabling that is a great way of handling a kinematic blast. Utilization of this could be um, a step below rockets and self-driven cars and able to, in order to have stuff like plants grow quicker, such as mustard seed, plume out at an instant. <laughs>